Hi, everybody. It's Andy Phillips here. And as you can see, I've got uh, Chris Downey with me. Hi, Chris. How are you doing? I'm very good, Andy. Good to see you again. Today, we're going to talk about something which I think is really relevant for all of those people who are moving up into the into the, the concept of running a property business rather than just being a property investor, and that's compliance. A lot of people I know in this industry, and I know a lot of people in this industry, I know a lot of them have gone through um, or struggled to get their compliance sorted out. And the worry has always been, has it been done properly? And as you say, is it all connected? Is it all yeah. part of a process, part of a system that if someone was to look at what they're doing, would they actually be compliant, even though they've gone through a lot of work to get that done? Mm -hmm. And that's, the, I think that's the biggest worry for people. Yes. And also policies are changing constantly, um, whether it be from HMRC, whether it be from redress schemes, whether it be from uh, you know, G GDPR policies, etc. So again, keeping on top of that. And let's put this in perspective. People who are sourcing are normally one man, two man, three man bands, you know, typically, you know, because they have a line of sight to local opportunities and they don't need a huge infrastructure behind them. Have they got the time or inclination to really get into when you know, legislation changes and they're updating all of their documentation and processes? No. And if they do, well, then they're not focusing on, on their business revenue, which, which, you know, when you're that kind of size and, and et cetera, is so important. You can do it yourself. Yeah, absolutely. You can, you can go down that road if you want, but it's going to take, a, take quite a long time, probably take more money. Um, but it's it's that digging in the weeds and just working working in the background that you really don't want to do. You want to sort of get that off your plate, go and go and get some uh, some professional um, processes in place because of speed and costs. And, and and again, it's just a professional way of looking at it. One of the questions I wanted to ask was, um, and I think this is important: if people aren't compliant, or if they've not they they've gone through, may have gone through some of the processes, but then but as you said, you know, just having the, the documentation doesn't mean you're compliant. What are the sort of implications for the, the average sort of person who is uh maybe a property sourcer, for instance, and they're bloody good at it. They're really good at getting great deals. They're building up a nice little investor base on the other side. Yeah. Um What's the implications if they do get this wrong? And, and this is not a scaremongery thing. It's no. just like we need to know the, the, the realities of life. So the implications, I think, would be a lot of investigative pain, time, stress, aggro. There are uh, fines. The key for me is when you go out to an investor and uh, you're saying look, that the, these are the projects we've got. This is the funding we use, and this is the, you know all those sort of things. And this is really, really important for you know building an investor base, which is exactly what most property businesses are looking for. Yes. When you're going out to that, just the this the just the messaging, having the messaging right is yeah. important. You know, people need to trust you. They, people will not invest with you unless they trust you. Yes. And just having this compliance in and really shouting it from the rooftops that you are fully compliant is one of the big things that, that an investor is going to be looking for. You know, they don't have a lot of time. They have they have the cash, but they don't have time. And what they're looking for very quickly is, are you the right person to deal with? And if you if you if you talk about your compliance, if you put your compliance up on, you know, your websites or whatever it is, you know, your social media or anything like that, then that's a big hurdle uh, right from the right from the get go to say for an investor that goes, you know what, yeah. I think I might talk to them because they look like they've got everything right. If I go to you know what the compliance vault is, we have encompassed all of this under under us. So everything comes under it. Access to a client account, we've got that in built into the system. We do automatic legislation changes. You get all and, and on top of that, integrated legal contracts. Um, you get an advanced customer relationship platform. You get your own investor sourcing system, um, again, you know, where you find investors and you can put them onto your own website. Again, that's part of it. And, and, and we've got an app. And, and, you know, I could go on and on, Andy, but the point being is this all comes under one roof at 99 a month. And I think, again, nobody listens to the pain that either sources or people starting out or investors who are wanting to sell some properties, you know, they don't think of their cash flow. Oh, just pay the... You know, 1,200 quid up front. Well, we've solved that. So you can spread that over the year. 
And that's where we're at, Andy. Listen, Chris, that's been absolutely fantastic. Very concise to the point and, uh, and very powerful as well. I think that's the, the, the key message for this. What we'll do is we'll put the link in the description or the, uh, the comments below. So you can just click on that and go through and straight through. And uh, yeah, just have a chat with, chat with the guys and um, get compliant. It's, that's, it's really that simple. Take, take all that hassle away from you. Go and get compliant. Go and get it working for you. And uh, and they just get on with what you want to do, which is making deals and making money. <laughs> that's that's it. Money. Listen, Chris, get, get, pain. get rid of the pain. Yeah, get rid know. of the pain. Chris has been fantastic talking to you. Thanks very much, mate. Cheers. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate it.